what's up everybody just got done running for the day did like two and a half miles 2.3 miles and uh today's an off day from the gym so we're not gonna have a video for today however i want to have like a quick little rants video or so so to speak um i'm listening to this audiobook right now called habit really really good by the way but uh one of the uh points that he made the author made there was a study done years back i don't remember when or by whom but they got a bunch of four-year-olds and they put all the four-year-olds in a room and they had like a one-sided glass they looked through and observed these four-year-olds and they gave them all a big old marshmallow and they said okay you could eat this marshmallow now or you could wait four minutes and we'll come back and we'll give you two marshmallows but we're not going to give you that second marshmallow if you eat the first marshmallow then they left the room and observed the children about half of them ate the first marshmallow because they didn't have the self-discipline to wait for those four minutes to go by to get that second marshmallow. Now, they came back, they kept track of these, these test subjects, these children, and they observed them years later while they were in high school. And they noticed, on average, the ones that had the self-discipline to wait for that second marshmallow were doing significantly better on their SAT scores, were less likely to get into drugs, um, they weren't in trouble that often. They performed better in school. A host of positives followed the children that had the self-discipline to wait for that second marshmallow. Now, why am I talking about this? <clears throat> well, all this came to fruition, and to me, is really, you know, well aligned with fitness and nutrition in the sense that you have to have the self-discipline to maintain your diet and be on top of that and maintain your training and be on top of that. Sorry, I'm sweating like a hog and heavy breathing here. But for me personally, it's a switch. It's a mental switch. When I'm doing a contest prep, I flip that switch on and there's no temptation. There's no cheating, there's no nothing. I don't take a nibble of something that's not on my prescribed macros. I don't skip out on a set if I don't intend to from the get-go. It's a switch, ladies and gentlemen. You have to have that mental switch. Self-discipline on, self-discipline off. There's no like, you know, skating the line, pushing the envelope, and tiptoeing back and forth, at least in my opinion. When you have a goal, whether that be nutrition, or training, combination of the two, or anything in life, whether it be business, academics, relationships, anything, you make that mental decision, that commitment, that that's what you're gonna do, and you follow through with it. And you flip that switch, and you're on on mode, you're on go time, and you don't cheat yourself. So, to sum up, have the self-discipline to wait those four minutes to get that second marshmallow. Okay, it's worth it. In the grand scheme of life, you know, have the patience. You can suffer another month of eating right before you reward yourself. If you haven't reached your goal, granted you wanna kind of, you keep yourself positive the entire time, you wanna kinda celebrate those small wins. But if you train hard for a week, you don't deserve a whole box of daylight donuts. I'm sorry, but that's just the fact of the matter, okay? Make your goals align with what is good and positive in life. And work towards that. Don't cheat yourself. Don't reward yourself if you don't truly deserve it. And only you know if you truly deserve it or not. But you do know. So, that said, I'm going to get off my rant here. Tomorrow is arms and delts. So, I'll document a video for that. Until then, I'll catch you next time. Eat that second marshmallow.